What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you my full walkthrough of OmniROM. I did do a screencast and try to sync the audio, but that didn't work out so good. I'm going to leave the audio that way you guys don't have to listen to some janky music while I walk through. So the audio is about 4 seconds off, I know that's a lot. But if you see me talking about the settings and it comes later, you'll you'll know. So I'm just going to give you a, um, something ahead of time. I have been having problems with my camera right there. So that's why I haven't been using it. Um, something with the sensor or something isn't working correctly. And there's getting little spots on my uh, videos. So I hope you guys do enjoy this one. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Also, all you people on Google Plus are gonna, probably going to complain. Because I know you guys are all perfectionists when it comes to Android stuff. I'm not the best with Android, I'm not the best with ROM, so I'm just giving my my review from my perspective and what I think about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you my full walkthrough of OmniROM. OmniROM is a, um, is a so custom software that was released around the time of Big Android Barbecue. Some of the developers are just trying to work to take all the other features from the top ROMs and make them better. So right here you see this is just like any other Android version. We have our clicking right here. I'm doing a screen record right here from the um, software. Um, it is a little tricky. I think they changed it in the nightlies. There used to be a setting for it. You'd hit the power button, and then you could do it. From now, you just have to hit the volume up and power to activate it, which is kind of cool. Pretty cool feature. So right here, we have all of our Google apps, the analytics, which is one of my um, applications that I have for my apps. We have all of our native notif um, applications on notifications so something cool about this ROM is if you say okay Google okay Google sometimes it's not too reliable but as you guys know before to do this you would have to be on KRT 16s which was a um, which was one for the Nexus 5 Nexus 5 port I'm now on Android 4.4.1 and right now I'm gonna be showing you one of my favorite features of this ROM, as you guys know, I'm like I like speed. So we do have an Omni ROM nightly. One of actually one of my I do love this ROM. I love everything about this ROM, but something pretty cool. Go ahead and click software system update. You can check for updates and update directly from your device. It'll check. Um, I did and I have put a few screenshots up on Google Plus. Um, we can probably see them right here. Right here, as you guys can see, OmniROM update is available. That's a screenshot I took. We have the Verge, all these applications. Um, you can use, to, to do this method, I did use my Windows computer and use the Nexus 4 toolkit, and then I did um, install a custom recovery and root it. You do not have to be rooted around the software. Um, it automatically presets the um, things on your device. I believe it's, um, there's one file in here for your stuff I think it's I have no idea but there's one in here where you just go ahead and you can root your device but I'm not rooted because I don't like to be rooted um the only bug that I can see is this right here oh wow they fixed it in the last nightly see it turns off halfway I wanted to turn all the way off to save my battery so I never really use that so you have to go into loca location and go ahead and turn this off I like to leave mine off you guys can see here, the ROM flies. Everything does work pretty smooth. There's not a lot of crashing. Right here, as you guys can see, um, you can't record audio like you can on the new CyanogenMod Mod 11 um, from the device. I'm using my microphone and recording it to my computer because I figured this way was easier. Um, all my games, the camera loads up pretty good, decently fine. Um, I, I'm a fan of the focal application right here um, it's decent so it's just a normal camera software just like the normal version um, I noticed my uh, on signage mod 11 I know we're not talking about signage mod 11 but on signage mod 11 I noticed my speaker wasn't working in the third nightly I think so you guys can go ahead it comes with the preset wallpapers like any other Android um, it does work pretty good the hot phrase okay Google okay Google How's the weather in Longview, Washington? It's 35 degrees and overcast in Longview. So it works all right. Not the best. Um, this is everything is fine. Battery percentage enabler doesn't work on uh, this ROM. 
we have my application that does run fine on Omni ROM, does run pretty good on any other ROM. So like I tell everyone, I am not a fan of ROMs. I used Cyanogen mod this, I don't even know why I have it on here. Um, I used Cyanogen mod, and this is also another cool feature I like about Omni ROM. To do this, you normally, to delete applications, you normally, like see right here, to go click install, you normally have to use a custom launcher to have that. This is already built in. We both have our messages app, movie studio. Um, something I do really like, because you guys know I'm not a fan of ROMs, that uh, on stock Android, I like to have nothing that can go wrong. This nightly, I ran signage mod nightlies, I ran pack ROM nightlies, I ran paranoid Android. I hate all those. Cyanogen engine mod isn't bad, but if I could pick Omni or Cyan engine mod, I like Cyan engine or Omni ROM the most. What I've used because it's been stable, it's been faster. I've took a little draw on battery life, but that isn't bad. We have the brightness controller here at the top to brighten our device. Um, notification count, network speed, right there. You can see how bad my internet is. Um, I kind of like this, the activity. This is normally on Android, but I just go ahead and turn it off. Notification drawer. Go ahead and scroll down to see something with our notifications. I like that off. Active display. Right here, I have the Motorola Moto X right next to me looking at this, and you guys can see we can activate all this. Um, our brightness level. I don't use that. This is a LCD screen. It will kill our battery life. Sounds, they did add a few new sounds. I like the Hangouts. Sounds is what I use. That's what I run with, and I use this. So I just like those sounds are good enough for me. Um, have my touch sounds off display. There's not really much under here. The battery light I do have customized a little bit. Um, I do enjoy having the battery light on. Cast screen for the Chromecast was updated, because now on the new Chromecast update, you can do that as well as the new Android update 4.4.1, which I have not received on my Nexus 7 2013 or Motorola Moto X. Um, app permissions, um, developer options. Here's my, this is basically going to be the end of the video, but here's what I love about this ROM. I love everything about this ROM. Window animations. Normally on Android, you only have 5x. They added 25x. So right here, I think your phone is supposed to be at 1x. So let's just go ahead and see that. Let's see how slow it is. Okay, do you see how slow that is? And now let's go ahead and click 25x, 25x, and 25x. Way faster. So yeah, I will leave links down in the description to XDA post as well as their website, um, Omni ROM website. You guys can follow me on Google Plus if you need any help flashing this. If you're on Windows, it should be pretty easy. I have not successfully rooted or done anything with custom recovery on Mac yet. You guys know I'm a Mac user now, but I do have a Windows computer laying around to help me along with my rooting and everything I need help with on my device. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and the more info. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.